Oh yeah, we got a new camera and yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be making a video today boys and girls Well, I guess the uh, trucks are getting a nice mother nature bath. That was kind of long overdue and key tags Oh my god that terrified me and speaking of key tags We will have them back in stock here very soon actually not these but we do have some new ones If you guys want to see the ones that are coming check them out on the site first link in the description below and remote start cold start hot start Hot day cold start whatever you get the point <laughs> And we're off Oh, this thing is so fresh. And that new car smell, new truck smell, I should I should definitely be politically correct with my terminologies. The new truck smell is just unbeatable. Cannot beat that smell at all. And we're gonna do the whole glasses thing so I don't go cross out on the vlog. Sometimes that happens too. Uh, much better. And we do have the garage door button program now. Can I zoom in time? There it goes. And we are off, ladies and gentlemen. That 360 top view though, that is pretty cool. Eddie! Is this Eddie's life? Hey, is this a 2020 Dirty Max Jack right here? Oh, oh my, oh my God, dude! Did you just randomly dial this number and get me? Is that how that works? I, well, I thought you called me because I won. Ah, yeah, yeah. Nope, nope. That, that sweepstakes isn't <laughs> over yet, Eddie. I'm sorry to break it to you, my sir. Damn it, <laughs> Jack. Are you there, Jack? Yes, yes, hello, Eddie, and Eddie's YouTube channel. Okay, so the reason why I called, I had a question. No, I did not call to regret of me ordering the Ram, like you <laughs> said. I called because I want your honest opinion. How are you liking your 2020 Duramax? It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but on a serious note, I mean, look, man, I wish GM was putting money in my pocket to tell everybody that this thing isn't as bad as they think that it is, but they're not. I'm giving you an honest opinion in the sense that this truck is awesome. I love it. Don't forget, guys, Jack is giving away his LML, so if you guys are interested, go to his website, and uh, he's got more info on his channel, but he's giving away a beautiful truck, so you guys, uh, well, I mean, you don't want to miss out. Eddie, thank I mean, you so much, man. I really appreciate it. And to all of Eddie's subscribers, you are following one of, if not the most genuine dude that I know in California next to D-Max Rhino. All right, guys, so that was Eddie's life. He's a good friend of mine and D-Max Rhinos. They are... That sound system. So anyway, go follow Eddie's life. Uh, he's a good friend of mine, like I was saying, and D-Max Rhinos, he's from like the Alpine, California area. Pretty hilarious guy, I got to meet him one time in person. So long story short, guys, I just want to quickly go over all of the crap on here. Like, I'm not gonna go over everything because it's gonna be really boring, but just to show you guys kind of what options we added in. You know what, is that is that even good? Is that even good? I feel like, I feel like that's not good. This is the window sticker and I'm not gonna use it. I was thinking of using it, but I don't know. I don't think that that's actually entertaining at all. So to anybody that's watching this video that wants to do some research about the 2020 i hope to answer a few of your questions and if you're just watching this because you're a subscriber of the channel then welcome so again guys this is my 2020 denali duramax hd it's a 2500 which is the three quarter ton it's in a crew cab uh six foot i think it's a little bit longer than six bed length it's it's really really big we literally just picked it up from st louis we drove it home i have about 1230 miles on it this far still have temp tags on it still have no actual license plate on it quite yet it is summit white i decided to go with white rather than any other color on this truck specifically as I was between actually maroon and black. And uh, the dealership that I bought this from actually had all three of those colors, but once I saw white, it's kind of like one of those things that's really hard to pass up in, in all white Denali. Is the image stabilization good? Are you guys are you guys liking it? I hope so. Drop a comment below, let me know. I really hope it's making an improved difference for quality. So it is the Denali trim, which is the top trim level. I don't want to kind of go into the obvious things, but to anybody else that's watching that doesn't know, the Denali is the top trim level and we got it pretty much fully loaded. Now this truck has been designed completely from the ground up. They extended the chassis about three inches to make more room for not only the bed but also the back passenger cabin area which is which is like really really big overall the truck is significantly larger than that of its predecessor in terms of width and overall height this truck sits as high as my 2015 lml which one of you is going to be taking home on a five inch lift kit which is pretty insane those tires right there from the factory are 275 65s which is really really big compared to what came on the earlier generation trucks and it's easy to say that this is definitely one of the most controversial, aside from the new Chevy, releases from the OEMs this year. Out here in Amish country, Pennsylvania. They make really good pretzels though, I'll tell you what. But I saw that as an opportunity to get one to show you guys that you can actually make them really sick. And I think that y'all saw that when we tossed on just to try for size my 22 by 14s, which looked absolutely incredible. Now, speaking of that, would you guys like to see chrome wheels? Well, I should say polished. Polished wheels on this truck or black wheels on this truck? Also drop a comment below. Enough talking and more about the information on this truck. The Denali comes with the big old chrome plated grill. It's got paint match bumpers and it's got the LED headlights. Oh, LED 
LED running lights and LED fog lights. Big old functional air dam for the L5P powertrain. It has the new style, very controversially discussed, tow mirrors, which are mounted on the door rather than on the pillar itself. They are auto dimming. They do have blind spot detection. They have forward LED lighting, backward LED lighting, daytime running lights and turn signals built in. They're power folding in and out and they power extend and retract. There are also cameras literally everywhere on this truck as it is equipped with the 15 perspective camera package. Let's just go through this real quick. Camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four, camera five, camera six, camera seven. Just on the outside to get you perspectives like all over the place. It has the driver alert package one and two so it gives you forward collision warning. It gives you the driver alert so the seats vibrate this that and the other and some other things that just make driving a little bit easier especially navigating this massive truck. Now on the back side here we do have the new multi pro tailgate. The top button is to drop the top half. It has this little pull up area here and then the bottom button. We don't have a trailer hitch in. Actually doesn't work when it's popped down. Didn't know that. We're learning things as we go. So the bottom button will be your full tailgate release. Uh, we have the spray and bed liner which is very nice. We have the OEM fifth wheel prep package and gooseneck prep package as we will be towing with this. I have a 25 foot gooseneck and there will be a video to follow about how this tows with the new 10 speed Allison transmission. So that's really nice because you don't have to go and drill into your brand new bed rather it's all pressed out from the factory and then all of this bed liner is then kind of wrapped up in between it's even got a little plug in the back here for your traditional outlet which is kind of cool now on the inside of this thing sorry it's a little dirty right now as i've got some stuff the back seats are huge as i had mentioned there is cargo storage up underneath and you have these kind of like little cubbies that are inside the seat i haven't really found anything to put in there quite yet but i'm sure i will got your fold down center console with cup holders galore you got one two three four five six cup holders there's seven cup holders, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 cup holders in general in this truck, which is kind of just a little bit extra in my personal opinion. Heated seats in the rear, and then you've got some uh, connected options here in the back. So that's pretty cool. Finally, they offer that. These doors are absolutely massive. A spider, that kind of sucks. I hate spiders. There's the keyless unlock and lock button, which is cool. I'm gonna go back to the spider here, which is kind of freaking me out. And on the inside of the truck, it is what's called dark walnut and dark ash interior. So there's a good look at the walnut and the ash color. So it's a unique combination, whereas in the 2015 that is up for grabs, that is what's called Coco Dune. And that's like a dark brown, kind of like this, except with the accent color of a light tan. So we'll just fire this thing up real quick. Get a look at startup. Turn the power off. So in my opinion, the interior is super nice and it's way, way bigger. <laughs> Everything is laid out very, very nicely. There's an angle for you guys of the new tow mirrors. Got your power extend, your power retract, and then power fold in. Here on the dashboard, we've got a whole bunch of stuff and things you can look at at any given point in time if you want. I'm not really even gonna touch on that, but the four gauges up top are digital and these are analog. They light up at night. Everything lights up at night in a really nice, cool, like a 5K LED. It's very easy on the eyes and super nice. Very, very friendly to interact with. Whole bunch of stuff down here, which is great and all. I'm not really gonna go into that. We do have the push button start finally, so you can just keep the key in your pocket. It's not like you actually have to take it out like you had to in some of the previous generations. Pretty nice size center console. We do have the sunroof package, which is huge to my OGs. Yes, boys, we finally have a sunroof and it feels so good in a company with the rear sliding window, which is very nice to drive with, by the way. Opening that window and opening the sunroof is like the greatest thing ever because it just creates this nice circulation of air. Very, very, very nice. And then boys, yes, yes, we finally have a heated steering wheel, which I'm gonna turn off right now because it's totally not necessary, but it feels very nice. It's very nice. In terms of the storage they did take a lot of space out of this center console region uh, i don't even know that that can pop up good to know compared to the previous generation but they did add this whole kind of area up here so i think they were like all right we're going to remove it from here and we're going to move it up here and then right up here we have what's called the digital rear view camera that is a camera, my friends, which is kind of interesting. And then everything automatically dims at night so you don't get blinded from the back by headlights. Now, speaking of headlights, this does have the automatic headlight detection for high beams. So you can hit this little button right here and it will drive with this headlights on until it detects other headlights coming at it. It'll turn them off. And then once those cars are passed, it will turn them back on. 
very nice to have. We got a whole bunch of lights over here. Now these are the forward facing cargo lights that are on the mirror light that I had mentioned to you. Very bright. You can turn all the other cargo lights on right, right there. <laughs> and then you've got your light control automatic. We do have an electronic parking brake in this truck rather than the manual one. So there's no pedal down here. And then the one thing that I do really want to touch on is how crazy all these cameras are. I don't have them all connected at the moment, but here's your backup camera. You see what your total swing looks like from the front and the back. Oh, I'm sorry. This is actually frontward facing and then we can go backwards and you can see if we put it in reverse you get the same lines so you know what your total swing is here and where you're going to be going in the back this is all 1080p as well which makes honestly the use of it very easy i'm not the type of person that solely depends on cameras i like to kind of be old school and use some of my mirrors as well but pretty cool you've got your frontward facing camera which is kind of weird looking in my opinion but it works as you can see you can kind of see what's going on around you it does distort things a little bit but not crazy bad you've got your front view so if you're pulling up close to something if you're trailering that would probably be very helpful as well because you can kind of see how you get around things and then you've got your back camera as well so if we go here you can kind of see where you had to swing something and how much swing that you actually have so for instance there's some equipment behind us we're just going to back up to it all right we're getting close Boom, my dad, we are very close. So that's pretty cool. You've got your left side and your right side. So turning left, turning right. And then these are somewhat configurable as well. So you can just do the total side if you're trailering. Um, you can add in your trailer cameras, which I don't have set up right now. You've got your trailer hitch ball perspective, and then you've got your tailgate. And then you've got your bed too. So what'll be pretty cool about this is I'll actually be able to back up to my gooseneck. I'll be able to click this button right here in park, of course. It'll drop the tailgate, and then I'll be able to back right up to my gooseneck, which I'm really excited about trying out for the first time. Now, unfortunately, in these trucks, they do not have the automatic up tailgate, I think, but don't don't quote me on this, the Silverados do. So that would have been kind of cool. You'd think that everything in the Silverado would be offered in Denali Plus, but I guess I guess that's not a valid thing. But I am looking forward to using that. Infotainment's cool. I don't really want to go into all this stuff, but it's got like Apple CarPlay and it's got like multiple modes where you can look at what's going on here and you can look at your maps. Uh, it tells you kind of what's going on with Bluetooth and your battery and music, that, that, that. Also guys, this is the full Bose sound system as well. So this thing totally bumps and it's got a wireless charger charging pad right there so you can kind of just let it all rip as you're driving along. Now, speaking of the 10 speed transmission, I don't want to go into full depth about that quite yet. I'm actually going to make a separate video addressing the pros and cons with that. And I'm going to do a comparison between that of the A1000 that's in my LML versus the new 10 speed transmission in the L5P 2020 Duramax. There's a lot of really amazing things about it that I'm, I'm excited about, but I want to make a full length video for anybody that's looking into that just so they can truly actually educate themselves on what's going on with this thing it's uh it's it's honestly very impressive i'll just leave that right there also i'm considering making a video about fuel economy because i've i've observed some differences if you guys are interested in that drop a comment below now when you're driving forward it'll actually give you an opportunity to look at your camera but it'll put a timer right up here and it'll actually get rid of it seven six five four three so I guess they don't want you to drive with that on all the time because I could see how it would be distracting, but they do allow you to go in here and turn it on again and again. I don't know if you hit that. Oh, it does automatically exit. And I'm sure that you can't take that off, but wouldn't be a surprise to me if somebody in the aftermarket came out and found a way to just like flash this thing to disable that feature. I think it'd be kind of cool to just keep on just because it'd be cool. But again, that's just my personal opinion. Running, running, get somewhere. There's nowhere to find. I got a feeling that I'm losing every piece of my Mind. This might sound crazy and I don't know why But I'm enjoying every single fucking second this time And I never felt more alive in my life So I sit back and sit patrol, yeah I'm right where I belong And if it might feel wrong but I'm feeling so right Tell you what, that is okay, one shake, really good looking front end. Now, I don't care who you are, but if you disagree with the fact that that's growing on you, I think you're gonna have to maybe question your taste. But in all reality, everything's an acquired taste and everybody has their own brand preference. It is really hard to beat that front end. I mean, let's be honest, it's iconic, it's classic, it brings back so many styling cues from classic GM. Whereas this is a little bit more futuristic, but very much GMC with the huge grill. And it's cool to kind of compare generation to generation. Regardless, they're both awesome trucks, but the 2020 has so much going for it and I can't wait to make more content for all of you guys about it. There are just so many topics that I want to touch upon 
and I've got a really long list of ideas. So if you're in for 2020 content, not only from an OEM perspective, but a build perspective, as we are trying to figure out what set of wheels and tires to buy for this thing for the time being, considering that there's not many lift options or even lowering options or really any modification options in the aftermarket right now, we're trying to figure that out. But it is like straight up white truck nation in these parts and I'm completely okay with it. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Definitely consider tapping that subscribe button if you're excited about this build. I am extremely pumped about it and the feedback's been amazing so far. Grab some entries for a chance to win my 2015 LML Duramax. That truck right there is going to be going home with one of you guys very soon. If you wanna see a long list of modifications that are on this truck, check out Enthusiast. First link in the description below. All that stuff is called out there. I don't wanna, I don't wanna bore you guys here. My likely to love you guys, do what you do best and I'll see y'all in the next upload. Oh, and last but not least, this Saturday, August 10th, we are hosting a meet over at Limeridge Automotive in Mount Joy, Pennsylvania. Anybody is welcome, free admission, food trucks, DJ, and a whole bunch of great times. We do ask that anybody that intends on coming brings their best behavior. We're not only trying to do this for the local diesel community, but we're also trying to show the local community that we can put on awesome events where we bring out great people and everyone can behave as they should. Just remember guys, one bad apple ruins the bunch. And if one of you does a burnout or rolls coal or does something stupid that could potentially put other people in danger, that might be the first and the last time that we do these kind of events. I know that I've been harping and harping and harping upon that, but I can't stress it enough that it takes one person's thoughtless behavior to ruin it for everybody else that's just trying to have a good and responsible time. So I'm sorry to heart, but we're really trying to do this for the local community here and of course to bring out people from high and wide. It should be a really fun time. Love y'all and I'll see you in the next upload.